practicing that and I still couldn't get it right. Uh, with its funny, witty and sexy lead, exotic setting and memorable tunes, it's one of the world's most popular operas. Please welcome to the cafe two of the stars of New Zealand operas, Carmen Wade Kernett and Emma Pearson. Yeah! Yay. Emma, did you, just, did you just snicker a bit when I talked about it? Uh, Wade's throughout his life, people have found Kerno, hard to say, so it's either Kernot or Kernot. <laughs> yeah, it's all, all of the above. Is, yeah. Wade Kernot, um, you guys are no stranger to each other, are you? No, 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 we're quietly married. Quietly Ooh. married. No. And you've also quietly, probably not so quietly, got a 10 month old baby as yes. well. Yes, yep. oh. yep. he's on tour with us at the moment too. Yes. Gosh, how are you doing that? It was great. Well, we were very lucky uh, mum and dad retired in time to follow us around the country and be babysitters. Oh, so that is perfect. Absolutely. We're that is going to be a brilliant opera in the future. Um, <laughs> is, that, is that how you met? I mean, it's pretty cliched asking that question, but I assume that's how you met. Sadly, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, it was the last time New Zealand Opera did Carmen was 2004. Um, and I was an emerging artist and Emma had come over to sing uh, Frasquita, the smaller soprano role. Um, and I was singing Pastia, my first great role for op New Zealand opera, and it was a non-singing, speaking role. Um, wow. Yeah, and we sort of sort of met there, and and um, eyes flashed across the stage, and that was it. Yeah, more like me sneaking up quietly in the dark and. Absolutely. Well, I would uh, say it probably helps because you know the opera lifestyle, the late nights, the training, the understanding of the industry. Mm. You probably need someone who understands. Would that be mm. fair, Emma? Yeah, totally. You yeah. have to be able to um, give each other a bit of time and understand, you know, that we need time to prepare for roles and turn up to the job you know, awake and so swap duties and... Nice. Yeah, especially juggling a 10 month yeah. old as well. Yeah. Uh, Emma, you're from Australia, you're from New Zealand, so mm -hmm. you've done a lot of travelling around the world. I mean, how does it work? Because obviously you can't always get operas the same opera to be in. This is just really fortunate that you've got this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, mm. we're very lucky to be in the same opera for once. It's very mm. nice. Um, is it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm say. Well, actually... Uh, uh, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, for this one, actually, uh, we're kind of... The two characters are, are in different worlds of the opera, so we're never actually on stage together. So um, we don't actually have to work together, um, and we can pass the baby around backstage without getting in too much trouble. So Shh, Daddy's singing yeah, now! Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, we just need to give each other space for when we need to, you know... Singing can be quite a selfish endeavour to be able to perform for that many people live. You need to be in a certain sort of mindset, so to give each other that space is. Mm. Wade, important. you've got such an incredible voice when you sing, but also when you speak. How cool. did you? How did he, radio <laughs> you? Can just do radio. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. How did you fall into <laughs> opera singing? Was it something you trained towards, and was it a goal, or did you um, literally fall into it? No, I mean opera was around. I mean, my my mother. Um, her family were sort of uh, just listen to classical music. My my nana used to actually um, do the vacuuming, listening to a Carmen record. Um, but I started off. My my parents had a country music band, and so we sang with them. And I did barbershop at school, and um, I went to Waitakere College, which had a really high Polynesian uh, uh, culture, and so everyone sang. And so it wasn't something weird. It wasn't something strange. And um, through a sort of creative outreach program that New Zealand Opera does. I went along because I could get three days off school <laughs> and um, sang in this little opera thing Thanks. and, and um, Sally Sloman from Opera Factory grabbed me by the scruff of the neck and said, oh, Brilliant. you should be singing opera. And I went along and just sort of loved it. And, and now you are it singing fits. opera. Yeah, absolutely. Emma, what about you? Uh, I just did the standard um, school musicals and, and the Stedfords and, and things seem to keep on going well and people recommended I studied voice and take it to university and then just kept on going on from there. And you've never wanted to go a different way and maybe do mm. pop or do something oh, quite different? No, no, I definitely know is I have I try pop. Uh, the, on the occasion, <laughs> maybe at a karaoke bar, but it's, it's disastrous. I would never do it. No, no. Can you imagine karaoke with these guys? Oh, no, that no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 karaoke. He finds himself as a bit of an opera singer. No, no, absolutely. Uh, 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 what well, night are you coming? We'll take it after. Come on, come on. I don't want to do any singing. No, but I'll give you a note. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, enough about you. Yeah. Let's talk about me. <laughs> um, it's a no, perfect no. opera singer. Yeah, no. Well, give me, give me a line. Give, give me something. Give me something to do. I'll just, I'll just copy. Oh, um, gosh. Uh, of opera? Yeah, yeah, go. Um, oh, gosh. It's got to be from Carmen. Come on. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, 
Torre Adorangara. Torre Adorangara. Really? Yeah, no, that was fun. Now I'm sweating a bit embarrassed. Um, oh, we'll send, we'll send, we'll send that to the boss. Yeah. 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 But um, it's about Don Chosé, who is a nobleman, and um, the opera begins with him serving time for committing some sort of crime. We think a crime of passion, and um, opera bound to be a crime of passion. Crime Absolutely. Of passion. Yeah. And then, um, sort of throughout the act, he sort of falls deeper and deeper into this um, sort of dark world of proper crime, and falls in head over heels for this. Um, wild, mystical woman, Carmen. Mm. And, and she only falls in love with men that don't like her. So she, um, she grabs him, because th she notices he's not interested at first, and then, and then once she's got him, becomes cool and doesn't want him oh, anymore. Oh, sounds like this sounds And so sends him over, over the edge. The thing is, lots of people will actually get the music, they'll recognise snippets from the music, won't they? Oh, absolutely. But it's all performed in French. Yes, mm -hmm. and there are subtitles. So if you do mm. go along, you don't, and you're not following the story, you can actually read what's happening. Mm. Yep, absolutely. Oh, so this yeah, is yeah. a great thing. Mm. And the staging of it, I mean, obviously incredible as well. The intimacy, I guess, of an opera, because I just found out that you guys, yeah, uh, microphones. Don't say mic. It's a dirty, it's a dirty word. word. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So no yep. microphones. No, no we've absolutely. trained for years to yep. make our voices strong enough to carry over 80-piece orchestras and wow. mm. and fill 2,000. Do your neighbours love you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Didn't yes. They like classical music. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, it's probably lucky that you move around a lot, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we sort of burn out the neighbours and move on. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Imagine your baby growing up listening to the beautiful lullabies you would sing it each night. That's, that's <laughs> very, very special. But you <laughs> know, it's still going to be on Mum and Dad, you're so embarrassing. Yeah, I think so. I, we, yeah, we're getting ready to be very uncool. <laughs> now, roles in New Zealand, you know, um, Wade, for you, because I know that you do a little bit of Switzerland as well. Yep. You've, you've gone around the world with that. You know, when you come back and you do it in New Zealand, does it mean a bit more? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we're very lucky here. I mean, New Zealand, for whatever reason, the sort of cocktail of sort of genetics, I guess, we have here, for a small population, put out a really large amount of opera singers. And, and around the world, you know, there's, there's someone somewhere listening to a Kiwi singing opera, you know, all around the world. Um, and so to come back for us, there's this little sort of, I guess, mecca of opera here. And we're very lucky to have a very supportive company that that do hire a lot of New Zealanders and, and a lot of young New Zealanders and help them get going. And um, Brilliant. Uh, a lot of my sort of success, I guess you could say, is from this company sort of pushing me forward and, and giving me opportunities and, and, and stage time. Nice Excellent. work, yeah. yeah no, oh, mm. good work, Mel. Fine. So you've done Wellington, now it's Auckland and Christchurch. You yep. two are incredible, lovely people as well. Oh, so oh, the best yeah, of luck for the rest of the season. Thank yes, you. thank you so much. All the very best uh, for it. And if you'd like to go and see the show, go on. If it's your first opera, make it this one. New Zealand Opera's Carmen. All you need to do is head along to the website, opera, nzopera.com, nzopera.com.